Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays Dead Cells. Uh, mouse on screen, be gone. Okay, good. Uh, let's just play. <clears throat> it was brought to my attention that I did not get off the screen. That I did, yeah, did not get off the screen, which was apparently what people need from me. Um, <clears throat> used my grenades correctly in the end of the last episode. Whatever, you know, those grenades, they, they mean nothing to me, okay? They are not important they do not help i have no respect for grenades so there we go uh okay fair enough <clears throat> my voice where is it uh fair enough maybe i should remember to use my skills a little bit more but in my defense the skills i had in that run were <clears throat> excuse me not appropriate to the um nature of the run they just... i didn't like them okay i'm trying to be fancy about it they sucked. I wanted more grabbing power, more opportunity to use the... I needed a synergy, okay? Oh, wait. Can you not? I, mean, I don't have to kill these things, so I don't know why I'm putting so much effort into it. Balance play could be okay. I'm going to try the bow that I'm using. I have forgotten that I have it. Um, <clears throat> I'm considering maybe what I should think about doing is having... Um, uh, some practice with a bit more of a ranged build, or basically anything but a melee build, which is you know, everything. Ooh, that paid for my scroll. But that's a tactics build, that's stuff I don't honestly understand that well, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to nip up here, try and grab this, and then let's just go to the promenade, you know? Or the promenade. I don't know, the lemonade. So now we have two skills that, again, I don't really know how to use, <laughs> effectively, and I will forget. I think it's something to do with the fact that early on you don't need them, so you don't use them. So, yeah, let's, let's go this way since we're near it. Um, <clears throat> so, I forget about them when it comes to the later game. Are we there? Are we there? No. Let's, um... Yes, we are. Okay, cool. Uh, that, there was a thing, and it happened, and I didn't like it. So, uh, it's, it's just... It's not analysis paralysis, but it's, it's along those lines where... Ooh, you can do that? What? Um, you have to have it in your mind all the time. Let's, let's try a new... thing. Let's have it unlocked, then next time we can use it, and this time, it doesn't matter. Oh, it didn't use all of them. I mean, I could just keep them, but we're not playing that game yet. You know, we don't need to save all our cells and power through the levels and trying to get, you know, the, the very late game cells used properly. I don't really know what to go for here, because I haven't made a decision on what my build is going to be. We can always reset them. It's not that expensive. So let's just go with the melee, because I like saying it, I guess. And we'll see where we get to. Hmm. So I'm sort of playing on and off one episode, whatever this is called, and one episode of Cataclysm. Uh, you should definitely check out that series if you haven't checked it out, because it's a really good game. It's an open source, it's a free and open source game. Mind you, show me an open source game that isn't free, and I'll show you a backhanded business tactic because I wouldn't believe that it's open source in the first place. Um, look, the whole point of open source... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a long, long uh, warm-up, I guess, not cooldown. That's like the um, the hammer of rangedness, which I guess means if you are far enough away, you don't need to worry about it, right? Wow. Very good. So we'll learn about this. Yeah, um, free and open source game called Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. It's a survival game. I'm pretty sure everybody watching this has already seen it, but, you know, some people um, may just be tuning in and tuning out, which is what I do for many other YouTubers. So uh, I'm pressing the game not so much because I want you to go and watch the episodes, although I do. I'm just hella into the idea of people getting into that game, learning about it, maybe contributing to it. You know, they like to receive bug reports, help it improve. Um, although, 
I find a lot of the problems I have with the game are balance related rather than actual bug related. And of course, if you're playing like I am on some nightly build type shenanigans, then you're going to end up uh, with some sort of uh, intermediate bug type problems where you get to roll into it though. It's not important. It's not the way we do things in this house. Uh, you know, you're always going to have a bug in a nightly build. It's just almost infeasible to think that you wouldn't. You can actually get two crits in after you roll if you do it quick enough, which is nice. Also, let's see if we can find out what that thing does. Uh, excuse me? Can I press this button? Thank you. There's a whip. I'm not interested in the whip. It's a very convenient teleport. Probably took me longer to do the teleport than it would have done to uh, just walk there. I appreciate that it does not prevent you from... Uh, rolling if you have committed I guess you haven't committed it doesn't force you to commit to the uh, the crossbow fire because it takes such a long time that if you couldn't roll after that you'd be in a bit of a pickle and not the good sort of pickle the bad sort of pickle I don't know what sort of pickle is a bad sort of pickle pickled eyeballs can't say it sounds like a cultural dish I don't want to be culturally insensitive to people who may have maybe a, a soft spot for um, for pickled eyeballs. If even such a thing exists, who knows? I wouldn't pickle them. Do you reckon eyeballs go in like dog meat? Not not <laughs> not dog meat as in what you get if you order from the wrong Chinese, but dog meat as in the meat you give to dogs. I do like an ice grenade. Is it better than a fire grenade? It does have a longer cooldown. Victims burn. Sure. I don't need this. It sounds like a delicacy, which as we all know from reading Terry Pratchett is basically anything that local people won't eat and want to troll the visitors with. That's not very much HP. We're going to go with it though because it does give me some HP and my bow is, let's say, predicated on survival. It's not the right word, but yeah, that's not the right thing to do at all. Nice. See the elite. Explode the elite. Run. <laughs> Get out of the way. Die. Very good. What is this? Can I have it? Ay, 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 ay. Boat and endless clip of four. <sighs> Any enemy hit by a bolt suffers a critical wound from the explosive crossbow too. The bow and endless quiver is not a green item. It does have unlimited ammo, but it doesn't really do much more for me than that. So I'm going to say no. Stop with the poison and the hurting yourself and the being a complete noob. Yeah, we, we're getting everything from this... Um, wait. Explosive crossbow 2 does not have any ammo count on the side of it. Wherefore, and indeed, why? He says, pretending not to know that both wherefore and why are equivalent words in the English vernacular. You know, big mistake that people make in the old Shakespearean Romeo and Juliet where for out there blinking Romeo. Hey, let's uh, make Romeo searching for Juliet because, as every English major knows, wherefore and where are the same word, much like therefore and there, and herefore and here. Although, here to for is a completely different word from herefore, as far as I understand. Why do we have so many of these things? Do like the infantry bow, but we have to do better than that. My dude. I like that we managed to get basically everything done in the first floor and still have time to get to the time door. It's basically a bonus at that point rather than the uh, unfortunateness of just having to have skipped some stuff. Don't know if we're going to make this next time door or this, this next time door. Um, it's not a shield run, so stop trying. We're going to keep what we've got until something extremely amazing comes up, which is probably going to just be a um, uh, a new melee weapon at this point, because I'm not too au fait uh -huh, with, the, um, with, the, with the stabby stabby roll thing. But why have you brought me here? I want to go up there, I think. Uh, because you don't get as big or as many crits, I think. It feels that way anyway. I don't know. Don't quiz me on it. I didn't write the game. Ooh. Free stuff. 
It's a kebab. Not hungry, actually, IRL. First time for everything. Seriously, I <laughs> managed to miss every single platform on the way down. How embarrassing. It's not embarrassing for you, it's embarrassing for me. There's plenty more to explore. I don't know if I want to. I mean, to some extent I do want to because there's going to be stuff there. But the number of times that it trolls me by pretending there's a way to go and then not letting me... Well, it lets me go there, but it doesn't have anything for me. Boom! <laughs> and we are out of here. O-U-W-T out. Roll. Thank you. It's a good thing that takes a little bit longer to uh, actually attack me than it necessarily needs to. I see. So the bolt... I think it's telling me that the bolt does... Yeah, the bolt does critical damage, but the explosion simply does damage. <laughs> nice try, but I was faster. You're good, kid. Real good. You're always going to be second best, see? Do you remember the mask, Jim Carrey, before he went serious and started bashing microphones? I, I'm adjusting myself. Not Again, not that way. Um... As though I was talking to a camera. There is no camera. I literally just gesticulated, gesticulated to a camera that is not there. Um, I mean, we really need to just start unlocking stuff, but we can have this. So, letters. And then we will start unlocking all these things as well. And we have immediately got a bigger, uh, a bigger, you know, thingy. Fine. Bleeding target. I'd like this to, yeah, explode is good. Toxic cloud. All right. Fine. Let's keep that. That is fine with me. And we will take... I need explosions to be better. Let's take this. We haven't taken it for ages because we don't really use grenades. As noted, to a fault. But maybe it's time we started throwing our skills around a little bit. Haha! -ha! I have learned a thing. Which is that you can roll halfway down a, a drop. Whilst gravity has you in its clutches, you can defy it. Speaking of law, the it was pointed out to me that perhaps that was nice. I really appreciate that actually. Um, this little green Dalek thing, as it was so uh, so wondrously labelled, so so charmingly and lovingly monikered. Do you ever realise that Monica means a name and also it's a name? Can I just like sort of thing here? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Aren't I amazing? I'm feeling that would have been the case on the previous one of those that went clicker clacker because I uh, I remember seeing the same sort of layout of that room, but I didn't think of it then, so never mind. Uh, Hang on, popping stacks. We talked about the fact that Monica is a name and also it means a name. So basically anyone who's called themselves or their child Monica has decided to call their child name, which is inappropriate at worst, at best, at worst. It's inappropriate and it sounds silly. Stop. Desist with your shenanigans. I'm unappreciative of this fact. Nice. Have this. And you all can die too. I like the fire grenade for dealing with these things that produce more things. And before that, we were talking about the law, the Dalek. So, it had passed me by simply from having seen previously the, um, the reanimation technique, or process, shall we call it, um, from having watched people do this, play this game, basically. Run! You can't... He's not jumping! Why is he not jumping? That made me sad. <laughs> I got really, really stuck down there. Uh, I sort of ignored the fact that there was a whole stage before you become a person. Um, just no. None of it. These are not better than the thing I've already got, which is rubbish. Um, where you are a little green Dalek blob thingy, by the way. If you're unfamiliar with the lore of Doctor Who, so now we've gone from the lore of this to the lore of a different thing, but at least I know the lore of the other thing. Uh, the Dalek is a... Apologies to anyone who was hoping that this would be a quiet episode. Um, the Daleks are a creature which is small and green and takes over rather um, 
Ooh, we have to get out of here now because we have one thing. It would. Uh, it is a small creature that inhabits a, a metal exoskeleton designed for itself, which hitherto uh, and uh, henceforth would have. Those are completely the two wrong words. Don't think about it. Um, run on wheels, and running upstairs was always a way of getting away from the Daleks. Um, I mean, the cooldown is nice, but who cares? Uh, that's Doctor Who lore, so they're a little green blobby things, and they live in boxes which are indestructible and have scary zappy uh, lasers on the front of them and plungers. Doctor Who literally was made at a time when budgets for many things, like e.g. help uh, costumes... <laughs> was essentially nil. So the Dalek was literally, I believe, an upturned bin, a colander, a assortment of... There was a whisk and a plunger involved. Of course, the plunger has stuck around, even now to the modern days of CGI and uh, high-budget um, Doctor Whoing. It was all these things just put on an upside-down bin and added wheels to. And uh, they had uh, short people inside them to pilot them, basically, because it was easier and probably cheaper than literally any other option that they had available to them. I don't even want to be down here, so there's no point in me doing so. Uh, please let me live. I think we're doing okay, actually, considering I'm still on my first weapon here. Anyway, the point is, it had not occurred to me to consider when I was talking about dying in the previous episode, but, whoa, sure, sure. Um, that was not correct. This is not how you do this. Run away. Um, that, you have a blob. Before. Ah! I thought that thing, I forgot how slowly that thing fired, which is very, run away. I am upset. I'm upset because I had no recourse in that situation. Well, I could have ground pounded, but I. There's no way I'm taking that time. So, with this little slimy thing, we walk into this body. Also, it was pointed out that the body was probably in a. Ooh, secret. Um, in a pile. <laughs> I'll do that again. Nice. Uh, of quote-unquote similar-looking bodies. Do you know what? I said I'd do this before, and I'm going to do it again. Let's call that the end of this episode. It's been a short episode because I am bad, and I'm very upset that I didn't manage to keep my blueprint. But thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned a little bit about Daleks and or me and or... Ooh, I like that you're slow in here. And or the game and or blah de blah etc. Until the next episode, thank you for watching. I hope you will subscribe to the channel and share the channel uh, information with everybody else who is your friends. And come back to see me in the next one where I hope that you'll have plenty more comments for me. But until then, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you.